Hi everyone, it's Dr. Christine is here. I just wanted to take some time to preemptively explain how you navigate Blackboard because there are usually a lot of questions in the first week. And I am not only teaching at UofL, but I'm also teaching at other places. So to try and cut down the number of questions that I get about Blackboard related things, I'm going to go ahead and just explain to you how you can navigate and what you should do for this first week. So to start, um, I'm actually not in student mode, so you may see a few things that I don't have here, but I do want you to just take a look at announcements every time you log in. You can click start here if you'd like. It has a sample navigation menu and like what each one of these things is. But more importantly, you're going to click on announcements every single time you log in. That's the very first thing you look at. And you want to look at the date that that was posted. Um, new announcements are going to show up at the top, but just double check when the announcement was posted. I'll try to keep them labeled appropriately. So to start, you're going to see this post, which hasn't yet uh, dropped. But you will first subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to click that and just show you how you will do that if you, well, that's not a good idea. <laughs> if it won't let you click that directly, you can simply copy it and paste it into your browser. And when you get to my channel, you're going to want to hit subscribe. There will be a video there for you. Um, which actually you're going to be, you're watching it now if you are in the right place. So um, this will be hyperlinked as well, and that's what you will click on. So you're watching the video to figure out how to do this. So I'm guessing you're getting through number one just fine. Number two is about Flipgrid, and I'm also going to link that. So when it's linked, you will go to Flipgrid. So I will show you where it will take you. And it's going to ask you to log in, okay? I am doing a, an educator login because that's my um, role, but you will sign up as a student. And when you do, you need to make sure that you sign up for with your U of L email address because I have uh, made our topic private so that no one else can just hop in and check out everyone's videos because that's not a good idea. Um, but when you are on that initial page, it's going to ask you to sign up in the middle. So when you do that, you're only going to see this particular topic. And, um, when you click on it, it will have my video, which is an introduction video, but you will click on this and then you're going to do these things. And when you do it, you're actually going to record a response. So it'll prompt you to record a response. You can do that here. Um, you can watch other people's videos here. And you should be able to comment on them, though I was having some trouble with that earlier. Um, the point in this, though, is it's really difficult to build community in a class that's asynchronous online. So this is a good way to start. You get to meet people even though you're not going to be talking to them in real time, um, hardly ever, if at all. So the third thing is you want to add a profile photo to your Blackboard account. You're going to want to do this in Microsoft Teams um, also if you have to use that for another class. I don't think we're going to use it in this class. We might, but we'll get to that later. But when you want to add a profile picture, you got to go back out to this menu out here. So I'm going to jump out of our class real quick. And you want to click on your profile, which is over here with your name. See, I have a picture here. All you have to do is click the little, yours will probably look like this if you haven't put a picture. You're going to click this pencil and edit and add a photo. It'll allow you to crop and do all that kind of stuff. So once you've done that, then you will go back to our class. And number four is the Rings of Culture activity. So this is the first thing I want you to do. Um, and it says here that I'm gonna give you instructions, which I am, about how to use the handout as a template. So if you take a look um, under assignments, Actually, you know what? I am going to go back for just a second. 
and add this to unit one. So when you're in your unit one folder, which is here, you will see this document. And what will happen is you will click it and it'll download. Once it's downloaded, you're gonna open it as a Word document and it will make, it will give you the Word version of this activity. So you will read the questions and consider them. And then you will actually think about adding words or information to the different rings that are specific to you. Now, this is an image. So if you wanna get fancy with it, you can um, add text boxes and add information into this image. Or if you're like me, you wanna just customize these rings by um, making my own. So what I did, for example, was I printed out this graphic and then I started coloring and making pictures and adding words that explain my age culture, my gender culture, so on and so forth. If you don't want to have a printer and you don't want to do that, then you can use a blank piece of paper or a blank document and just draw it yourself. You can make them squares. They don't have to be circles. Whatever you want to do. Um, I have had a lot of different iterations of this before, but I do want you to customize this part for your own rings of culture. So once you have done this, then you're going to answer these questions and you can answer them on here if you would like. Um, if you decide to make your rings of culture on a different document, then I would like for you to either take a screenshot of it and paste it into here and just save this as one document or you can take a picture of it, whatever works best for you. But I do need to see the customized version of this and the questions added to the discussion board. So once you have that finished, then going back to Blackboard, you will go back to the whole class discussion board. And here's where you're actually going to submit it. And there are the questions here that are um, reproduced on your handout. So you do not have to respond to your peers. But if you would like to, it's certainly a nice way to build community. Now you may say, wait a minute, these things are on the handout. Why do I need to repeat them? Well, everyone isn't going to download your rings of culture to look at it. So this is a way for you to just quickly, briefly post what you wrote or typed on your document so that everyone can see it. I, however, will download all of yours and grade them. Now you're going to get all of your points if you do what I'm asking you to do. Make sure you read these, but um, I will actually look at them. Everyone in the class is not necessarily going to look at them, but it would be nice for everyone to be able to see your response to these questions so that we can all, again, start building community. If you would like to comment on your peers' posts, that would be awesome. And how you're doing that um, is here. Again, it's not required for points, but it would be nice for you to just get some practice in using this, particularly if you've never used discussion board before. So once you're finished with that, you're gonna go back to announcements and see what's next. So after that, number five is to check your Blackboard writing group. Now, you won't have one just yet listed. So like, I'm going to wait until um, Monday afternoon to probably to make the groups because we'll have people adding and dropping and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yours will show up somewhere around here, probably under my grade somewhere, and it will say my groups. And you're just gonna have one group. When you click on it, it will be much like a discussion board, but you will have your own group with just a few people in it from the class. This is where you're going to submit some writing drafts for peer review. So I just want you to look at it and make sure you understand how to use it. And if you have questions, you can reach out to your peers in the group or you can reach out to me. The next thing is very important and that is to connect to Launchpad. So um, I'm actually going to put this in student mode real quick so that we can see what it looks like from your end. So when you click Launchpad, this goes with your textbook by the way, you will see this and you're going to click on this where it says launchpad for everything's an argument okay 
you can see the ebook version of the textbook. You can see any grades that you end up having. Um, and really, all you need to do is click Launchpad. And when you do, it's going to take you here and ask you some questions to proceed. And now you're going to click this, and you're, um, I'm not going to, I don't want to see that every single time, so I'm going to click that box. It's up to you whether you click that second box. Once you have that, you're moving on to an outside website, and I have an account. So it's going to show that I'm already in here. You are not. So you're going to create an account and you're going to use the access code that you were given when you purchased your textbook. If you do not get an access code, you can purchase it on here. Or you can just use the 14 day free trial for now. And once you're in there, you're going to have an assignment that is a grammar diagnostic. Again, you will get all the points for completing it, no matter how well or poorly you do on it. It's a diagnostic so I can figure out what I need to do for the class for supplemental grammar lessons. I'm not teaching grammar, that's not what this course is about, but we will do some more practice exercises so that I can hopefully help you progress in the clarity of your writing using academic standard American English. So that's Launchpad. We have had a few issues with it. It's the first time I've used it this way, so we'll see how it goes. We should all be able to get through at least this portion of it without any hiccups. So then, you will go back to announcements and um, we oh <laughs> I forgot that one's not published sorry you're not seeing the one I was on yet if you're in your course okay so then once you've done that you complete the di grammar diagnostic and you're done um, I will say everything is going to be due on Sunday, so if you click on our tentative course calendar, you will see the due dates for everything. I have tried to post them for the entire course. Um, that's in the syllabus if you'd like to look at it, but this is just week by week. So here it tells you what you need to do and when everything is due. Everything's always due by Sunday at midnight, 11.59, unless I post something like Draft due Friday, peer response due Sunday. For the most part, everything's due on Sunday. And everything's always due at 11.59 p.m. Um, I don't make anything due at arbitrary times. Ain't nobody got time for that. So uh, if you go back to announcements, you will see again that you have a short reading assignment this week. It's only 11 pages, and trust me, this is not super difficult reading. It's just about why we make arguments. And then in response to that, you're going to go to journal and complete the first journal. Now, no one will see this except for you and me. This is a conversation between the two of us. Um, I will grade it directly here and I will provide comments on it if I have any questions or you did not earn all of your points. Journals, you will always get all of your points for completion as long as you do everything I've asked you to do, okay? So what you will do is you will respond and then I can comment and I over here can show, I can grade your entry over here and you'll see your grade with any comments. So I know that this sounds like a lot and I put this in the announcement, but we have to get through all these little organizational types of things in week one so that I can figure out where we're having issues with access, what's going on with people who are tr having trouble with Blackboard. We got to get all that stuff out of the way because this is going to be a bit of a shortened semester and we just have to get rolling. So um, I prefer to just get it all out of the way in the beginning. So please let me know if you have questions after you have watched this video and you have tried to get through all the things and I will be grading things as they come in. I hope you have a great first week.